Only a handful of people were there when an assassin's bullet hit Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today we are honoring Dr. King on this, the 50th anniversary of his assassination. Here's a live look now at the eternal flame in Northeast Atlanta at the King Center. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston continues our Team 2 coverage, and Dave recently sat down with Ambassador Andrew Young, who talked about the moments just before King's death. It's as though his spirit has never left. Ambassador Andrew Young talking about Martin Luther King Jr. That's Young in the middle of the screen looking into the distance away from King's slumped body at his feet. He says even though the civil rights leader was murdered 50 years ago, he says King's presence has been with him throughout his life. There's nothing that's happened in my life since his death that I can't attribute to the movement of his spirit in our midst. But Young says King, the eloquent and charismatic leader who disrupted the status quo, shook the white columns of separate but equal, always anticipated his death. They all did. We were not afraid to die. But what I was afraid of was that he would no longer be with us. Before that shot rang out, before that bullet took King's life, I wanted to know what they were doing, what they were talking about. Young says they were having a great time. Young spent the day in court trying to get permission for a Memphis march. He joined King and Ralph David Abernathy at the Lorraine Motel late in the day. He was eating catfish and, and hush puppies, and I walked in, and they all turned on me. <laughs> Say, where you been? And um, I said, I've been trying to keep you out of jail. <laughs> he picked up the pillow off the bed, and he threw it at me. Mm -hmm. Well, I threw it back. Like schoolboys, roughhousing, Young says, instigated by King, the civil rights leaders had a pillow fight. They finally beat me down between the two beds and piled the pillows on top of me. That was the happiest I had seen them in a long, long time. That moment, true happiness. And he went upstairs to put on his shirt and tie. That was it. Seconds later, Martin Luther King Jr. was gone. I really am sincere in saying that I was happy for him. And I was mad because he left us. What do you mean you were happy for him? Death was not an end. Death was a passage to a new freedom. And it's astounding how often Dr. King talked about that. Mm -hmm. He predicted that that is exactly what would happen to him. Absolutely. And he said, Andrew Young there, it's not an end. We're talking about him 50 years after he died. His work still moving on today.